I call the Honourable Andrew Little. Thank you, Madam Chair. It's a pleasure to rise on this uh, very important stage of this very important bill, uh, one with, with which I have an intimate acquaintance uh, since I originally sponsored it. And, uh, Madam Chair, the question that the uh, Honourable Member for, or, or List Member, uh, who's just spoken, raises is, given we're on Clause 1 and talking about the title, can the content of the bill provide the guarantee that he seems to be looking for of warm and safe and healthy homes? Or at the very least healthy homes, because that's the other word in the title of the bill. Not just homes, and of course not just healthy, but a guarantee. And I want to engage him on that point because it is pretty clear in this bill what it is all about. And it is about upgrading the landlord's responsibility to tenants through the tenancy agreement to meet these elevated but actually vitally important obligations. You see, if they were there already, or if landlords were already observing these very simple obligations, then we would not have this bill. But more importantly, we wouldn't have 42,000 children turning up to hospital each year with respiratory conditions, avoidable respiratory conditions. We wouldn't have people with cold, damp homes, with black mould running up them, homes that are not properly ventilated, homes not properly insulated. If the current regulations and the current legislation provided for those things, then this bill would not be necessary. But it is because those problems exist. There is a problem for which this is a remedy, and it is the failure of far too many rental homes and the landlords who own them to provide a safe and healthy environment for their tenants. And so when you look at the specific uh, guarantees that this legislation will provide, a requirement that things must be specified in a tenancy agreement. And what are those things? And, Madam Chair, I'm, I'm not departing from Clause 1 and talking about it. I am talking about what the guarantee is that's referred to in Clause 1. And the aspects that will be guaranteed are there laid out in the new Section 138B in Clause 6. So there will be requirements under regulations for heating, for insulation, for ventilation, for moisture ingress, for draught stopping, for drainage, and any other material thing. Look, if it was any more specific, it would be requiring landlords to put the tilly in one corner and the couch opposite it. We haven't gone that far because we're not into nanny state. We're into, making, we're into allowing people to make their own choices about how they furnish their homes and, and where they put the furniture. But when it comes to minimum standards of health and safety in the 21st century, this is the least we could do. And we have to do it because it's not being done now. So when this bill talks about the healthy homes guarantee, it is very clear about setting up very specific obligations, allowing for regulations to make very specific obligations referred to in the, in the tenancy agreement that will lift the quality and the standard of the homes that are falling short right now. It is about that guarantee, and it is about making them healthy, and above all, it is about ensuring that people, when they go to their place that they call their home, can call it a home, their place of sanctuary, their place of safety, in a way that too many cannot do right now. That's the guarantee. That's what it's guaranteeing. And is it too much to ask in this day and age for the growing number of people, young people, couples, families who are dependent on rental accommodation to at least be assured that they will have minimum standards observed? And is it too much to ask for this House discharging its responsible duty to the citizens of New Zealand to require rental housing to meet that minimum standard and for this House to give permission to the executive to create regulations to ensure that that's going to happen. That's what the bill is about, short and simple, clear on its face. That is the guarantee. 
New Zealand, the New Zealanders want it because they voted for it, and now they'll have a chance to Mr. get Chair, it. Madam Chair, Madam Chair, the Honourable Nick Smith. Madam Chair, the problem.